I gotta do laundry. So gathering the land. What do you do, Layla? You need to be brushed. Layla is shedding. I found dog fur everywhere on the boat. Turning into summer. I'm out of clothes. But I wore my captain shirt. Is it going to, is it going to rain today? Uh, tie my little thing up. Is it gonna rain today? I do not know. I can go look at my tacky weather. I think there's like a morning. There's our old radar, gonna bring that in. Laundry. Garbage. Or I don't think that's garbage. No, that's a tools and stuff. Yeah. Daily routine. I'll the decks down because there's a lot of dog hair and also it's better for the boat. And then I just douche the dinghy. It's the sandpaper dinghy. Is is it wet at the bottom of the bag like a bunch of puddle of water? No. Did you feel it? Yes. Can you hold the dinghy or get in? I don't mean to do that. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. Is my shoes in there? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah. Here's our old Furuno. See how it lines up with a new one. Okay, and you think the holes will match up? That's awesome. <sighs> Gonna have some lunch and then I gotta run some errands. Laundry's done. Probably answer some questions, huh? It's been a while. Let's see. Bruce McIntyre asked, "How long before there is a surfboard rack on top of the bus?" Soon. Um, I want to actually do one of those old school racks that's you know like the stainless or the aluminum with the wood. Um, I want to do that on the front because it kind of cuts off. So I definitely want to do that. Mark Linman one asked. Just noticed that your Volkswagen bus looks like a Westphalia. Is it, or is it just a tin top? Yeah, it's actually a 72, so it's not a Westphalia, but we do have the pop top from a Westphalia that uh, that was sold to us, and we actually cut the top um, on this one. DDM220 asks, up around Palatka on the river would be a great liveaboard area? Question mark. Yeah, that actually uh, we thought about that. Um, I, I do like the Drayton Island and kind of near those, those uh, sulfur springs is really pretty around there. But um, yeah. Uh, Darlin Dar asked, uh, what type of computer do you have or use? Is it a laptop or desktop or both? Um, it's actually a laptop. It's a MacBook. Um, and then I use uh, iMovie to do the edits. I should probably get some fancier software, but iMovie works best. Do you keep it aboard in a building for fear of moisture? I do worry about that with a laptop, you know, getting it wet, so I do try my best to hide it in dry places aboard. Easy Funshine asks, why do you have to wash the deck every day, and does the seawater leave stains? Um, I've already kind of answered that. The reason why we wash the deck down with salt water is to keep it wet and, and to keep the, the plank swollen up. And as for staining, it depends on if, it, if there's varnish on the cap rails, which we actually took the varnish off. But on some of the cap rails and stuff, you do want to make sure you wipe it down with fresh water. That way the salt doesn't, you know, eat away at the varnish. Linman one asked, the bus is looking nice. Love that color. What is it called? What we used is all grip, so it's seafoam green and oyster white. Jack Frowen asked if they have a full maintenance crew, and what he's talking about is the El Galleon, which I had some video footage of. And yeah, they do have a volunteer crew as well as a paid crew. Al Morris asked, what site do you use for downloading charts? It's actually Navionics that we're using on our iPad. It's going to be kind of a test. I've never used an electronic chart before. We've always used paper charts. We will have paper charts aboard as well, but yeah. I also asked uh, about a video on the navigation techniques, weather, and internet sources. We might actually, you know, as we cruise, we'll show things like that. Yeah. B. Kratz asked, whose tool trailer? We're actually working on a Concordia Y'all, and there is a tool trailer that I, I show kind of a quick footage of. That's actually the owner's tool trailer, but we might actually buy that from her at the end of the, uh, at the end of the work. 
which would be really nice. And I've been looking for a tool trailer for Pete, so this would be a really good thing. We don't always have to have a shop. The shop works good for fixing things, though, and it has been a really nice thing to have. But it is, um, you know, another thing to have to pay for, so there's that. We're probably going to keep the shop when we leave. We'll just pay an advance payment of rent for it. That way when we get back, Pete can still go to work. But um, we are going to slowly kind of integrate ourselves to be a little more, you know, on the go, which I'm excited about anyway. 499 Puck asked, is that sewing machine able to handle sale material? I'm pretty sure it can. It's sewn through leather, it's sewn through jean, it's sewn through sombrella, very many layers. You have to kind of go fast with it to get it over the layers. But yeah, I think it can handle sail material. It does only straight stitch though and not, not the zigzag. So that's um, a downside, I think, of that for sales, anyways. Burlats Demonting. I hope I'm saying that right. It's French, I think. It sounds French. The iRig is good. Do you have a pickup on the banjo? You could shred. I don't have a pickup on it, but yeah, I mean, now I have an iRig, so there we go. Captain UWE, or Keymaster, asked, do you have a bell on board? Yeah, we actually do. We have to mount it at the base of the mast step, so we do have a bell, so yeah. I should take a video of that. Inside Dave asked, what type of camera did you get? Um, I haven't decided if I want to keep the camera or what I want to do with that camera only because it's kind of a big heavy thing to lug around. It is better with sound, which I will say I like the sound better, but I am still looking for, see the one that I got is not as good a quality as this GoPro, it's actually a little less quality. And it also does an autofocus, which I'm kind of wanting to get is one that will kind of focus as you film instead of like a point and shoot sort of thing. So that is really nice of them to give me that camera. And I was pretty excited on getting it, but it's something that I don't need. I've already got one pretty similar to that one, and it's not really the best quality. And I really want to give you guys good quality film. Um, so that's kind of what's going on with that. Anyways, I think that's it for now. Yeah, Pete's calling me. So, see you guys in a little bit. Hey, Pete! I wanted to show you, um, I got a handheld VHF, so that'll be really handy for anything. It floats, it's waterproof, submersible. So this will be real handy for, instead of having to run down below to get on the VHF, I've got a handheld here, so. So, I got a bunch of groceries. And Pete got the grate back for the galleon. He had another guy make the grate because he has a computer to router to make it. Looks like, oh, he cut the, uh, the transom for the Concordia. So that's all glued together and molded on a frame. Nice, Pete. It doesn't spring back too much, but at least I know it'll go back with right. some screws. Yeah. Oh, nice. I filled all the holes this morning that I drilled out too, and all the rot underneath us. Oh my I mean, gosh. Where glass is, just canvas. And this is where water. So they left this on. Left. And look, this is where water sits, and it's supposed to drain out right here. See what happened is uh, she got her decks glassed over. Oh, she had it done long. And she had it done a long time ago, but the people who glassed Before it. Yeah, the people who glassed it didn't pull up this hatch, so they just glassed up to it instead of glassing underneath it, and then it caused rot and problems. All the groceries down the ladder. 